Okay, what are, what are your thoughts on a prenup? That's such a controversial thing. It is. I mean, everybody like, has their, everybody has their has opinions their, on like it. Jasmine, so. what do you think? You, you started the question, what do you think? What do I think? Would you yeah. sign one? Would you ever, yeah. Honestly, I, like, I think I would. Mm. I think I would, because, like, um, could Jasmine be making all that money? Jasmine yeah, because honestly, I want to pro- I want to protect my yeah, assets yeah, yeah. too. Because I'm like, it's not even about it's not a, even a, it doesn't come down to trust for me. Like obviously, like if I'm dating someone, I trust them. But I also think it does come down to like whatever is mine before we get married and what I earned. Like that's mine. Like I think because the, the, prenups you can have different clauses in them. Yeah. And how you want them, right? So I think like after you get married, like whatever you decide to have together, like your joint accounts or whatever, like that that's fine. Changed, like yeah. that can be yours. But whatever I made and earned, earned like before we got married is mine, and I have like fully right all the rights to it. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like and even like it's kind of like the same thing how a lot of girls say like they earned their degree, so why would they change their last, last name, name. On, their, on the degree? Yeah. It's kind of the same thing. Like for like if I earned all these things, worked for all these things, like say like I buy a business. Why would I like not sign a prenup to save that for myself? You yeah, know what I mean, I get that. The thing that bothers me about it is that you're going into it already as thinking that there's a possibility of this. Yeah, but like with yeah. the but when you look at like statistics too, I know that's a bad way to look at it sometimes. <laughs> but like, yeah. Yeah. Like like speaking, gonna, most people don't make it. Ekdeep's like like gonna tell his wife the day before the wedding. You will no, yeah. yeah. like statistically, but there's, like also, <laughs> there's also ways around it though. Like they can yeah. still have like access to those things. Yeah, yeah, of course. Here's because you can put their name on it, but then um, it's just. Uh, it's just a matter of like how much authority they have, like how much they have a say in it. How, it's like yeah. it's, the same, it's, so, the same, it's the same thing as like opening like an account too. Like there's a lot of people that when I worked at the bank had like business accounts together. It was a husband and a wife, mm-hmm. but only one of them had like the authority to actually make like more changes than the other. Yeah, yeah. or they both had to be there present to make transactions. Together. That shit can't. Yeah, yeah, that shit can't. Yeah. Fuck that. Anyways, yeah. there's a there's like this sun, there's like this clause called a sunset clause you can put into a prenup where it's what? like after like if you're dying in the sunset. No, 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 no. It's like after like an X amount of years, you can have it so the prenup like r- like dissolves, so it's no longer yeah. effective. So yeah, like after exactly. like let's say 15 years of marriage, prenups no longer re- effective. Because yo, I'm be honest, that's just crazy though. It's crazy. Dude, like if you make it like my thing is if you, like I've seen this story. This guy's like he's like I have. A, 30 year clause with my wife. He's like, if she stays with me for 30 Dude. years and then yeah. divorce me, she deserves it. Dude, you guys see that? Yeah. I was like, <laughs> I was like <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna pull it up right, right now. Years, Yo. Enough, bro, take it. So this okay, wait, no, let me let me put it in this, put a scenario for you guys. Just say if you guys had a business, right? And you were getting married to someone, you guys wouldn't sign a prenup to like, pre- just like have that. I mean, to it's, it's it's really like if you think you're gonna get divorced. Like say like no, no, like you say like this, if if say you own this business and it's pulling in a lot of money. Like at least like like. Like a million dollars in revenue. It depends mm. what the guy's doing too, though. In my opinion. Yeah, like yeah. yo, that's what if I mean. It depends like on everything. Nothing. It depends yeah. on like if you're the type of bunda who's like, yo, if I take this flight, there's a one percent chance I might crash. I might message my mom, yo, I'm gonna hop oh on this God, flight. Yeah. Or if you're like, you know, I'm gonna get married, there's a fifty percent chance I might fail. Or if you're the type of bunda who just fucking sends it, like you're like fundamentally different people. Yeah. Like you know what I mean? It just it really just depends. You know what that made me think of? There was a guy I met one time, right? He was like my friend's boyfriend. And he would say things like, he'd be like, yo, like, I'm actually just good if she just has a business and I'm just, like, staying at home. Mm. Like, I just want to be a stay-at-home dad. That's the type of guy I would want to print up, like, from. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you yeah. know what I'm saying? That would be like, ugh. Yeah. But yeah, then at yeah. the same time, it's like, if the guy's like, yo, you can be a stay-at-home mom. Or you can just be stay-at-home. You don't even have to be a stay-at-home mom. Just stay-at-home. You can just chill. Just be a stay-at-home. Just, just, just stay-at-home. Just stay-at-home. Stay That's canon. Stay <laughs> like, you don't have to work if you don't want to. Like, yeah. he's not telling you not to work. He's like, if you don't yeah. want to, you have the option. You still wouldn't sign it. Like there's no like there's no way you would sign a prenup at that point. But okay, at that point, you're, okay, like you, this is yeah. the thing, right? If you, if he if he tells you we stay at home, and then he's giving you the money, mm. right? But like, like you get, it like, makes it, it kind of limits you. It that, does. It, it does, limits you. It, it does yeah, it's a choice for the girl then the if she though. wants to get married. No, like, like yo, you probably yeah. wouldn't marry a bunda who just wants you to stay at home, yeah. right? Likewise, yeah. like, most girls or a lot of them probably wouldn't, because like yeah. yo, at that point it's like the guy has so much power over you that even if he fucking cheats, you're gonna be like, man, I don't even have a house. Yeah. You're gonna yeah. be like, I don't yeah. even yeah. have a house. I don't even have. Yeah. I can't even pay my fucking phone bill. Yeah, exactly. And it's like yeah. just can, yo. It's, it's, it is can. There's a lot of girls like that though. There are. No, that's why I'm bringing it up. That's why I'm bringing it up because I've seen so many stories of it, right? Some people just stay because of that.